where is Jamaica's Ashanti Moore? And should we be worried about her athletic future? Greetings, kings and queens. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it helps to grow the channel. And uh, thank you to all the people who have subscribed so far. If you like and enjoy our content, please hit the like button. The algorithms love it and I love it too. So let's get straight into this vlog. We're talking about the one and only Heidel Ashanti Moore. Undoubtedly one of the most talented young female sprinters to come out of Jamaica. The last time I saw her run was at the National Olympic Trials in Jamaica early this year when she tried out for the Olympic team in the women's 100 meters as well as the women's 200 meters. Unfortunately, she was able, unable to make it because as you remember, this was an unbelievably high quality field. In a 100 and 200 meter final that featured, well certainly in the 100 meters, the top three women on the Tokyo Olympic 100 meter final podium, including Shelly and Fraser Price, then the world's fastest woman, Elaine Thompson Hera, who has now become the world's fastest woman, and Sharika Jackson, who is, who is the sixth fastest woman with a time, or the fifth fastest woman with a time of 10.76. Ashanti Moore came to national recognition through her athletic prowess in the sprints in the 100 and 200 meters as she represented Heidel. In the finals of the girls 100 meters class one in 2019 at the Issa Boys and Girls Championships at the National Stadium, she ran an incredible time of 11.17 seconds to win the class one girls 100 meters, that is girls 17 to 18 in 2019. Of course, those of us who had been following her career were not necessarily astounded by this win. The truth is, in the last few years, the three names that were constantly being called in the sprints was of course the Clayton teams, particularly Tia and Tina Clayton, Kevona Davis and Ashanti Moore. Winning the girls 100 meters, we were looking forward to her defending her 100 meter title in the 2020 championship boys and girls season. But we all know what happened there, don't we? I mean, unless you're living under a rock, we all know that a pandemic, which is still here, hit us called the, well, you all know what it's called. Like many other athletes, the pandemic impacted her career in multiple ways and in multiple layers. But there is no doubt and can be no doubt as to how tremendously talented this young woman is. 11.17 class one, winning in convincingly by at least a meter or two is something to be admired. Cementing her versatility and her tremendous talent as an athlete, Ashanti Moore is not just a 100 meter sprinter, but shows immense talent and promise also in the 200 meters. In the same Boys and Girls, Issa Boys and Girls Championships of 2019, she came back to win the women's 200 meters class one in another very impressive fashion and an even more impressive time. Say she dominated both races is somewhat of an understatement. I mean, winning a 200 meter in a clear, what, four meter victory, easing up at the line and running a very convincing time says everything. Her strength, power, speed were on display in both races. And I personally was extremely impressed with this young lady. We often take it for granted that an athlete who is good in the 100 or who is good in the 200 is good in, you know, if you're good in the 100, you're good in the 200. If you're good in the 200, you're good in the 100. And that's actually not very true. It's very, very rare. I mean, it's people, I mean, to give you a simple example, in America, they have a young man called Noel Lyles, who is just really not very good in the 100 meters, but is really strong in the 200. Uh, Elaine Tomsehera is, it's not normal, let's put it that way. It's not normal to be so dominant in both 100 and 200 meters. 
And this is a feature of Ashanti Moore that I think we all should take a gander to. Her strength, speed, endurance is extremely good. And as a youngster, I'm also very impressed with her form. She needs a little fixing here and there. But I think it's really important to take note of the fact that she's equally as good in the 100 meters as she is in the half lap, the 200 meters. So her dominance in these championships had all of us salivating for 2020, the 2020 Issa Boys and Girls Championships to see what would happen when she lined up against her arch rival, her arch nemesis, and I mean this in a very kind and, 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 and loving way, um, Kevona Davis, because we're, always, we're all looking forward to see what would happen when she stood toe to toe with Kevona Davis. But she was so dominant in this race. I mean, absolutely. Within the first 30 meters, people, she's up on the entire field. By the time she comes off that 100 meter on the curve, which she runs, by the way, almost perfectly. Look at how high her knees are, how relaxed her shoulders are. Her arms are pumping correctly. She is in her final phase and she eases up. You can see that at least 10 meters out of that 200 meter. I would love to have seen her run straight through the line, running 23.82. I was really impressed with both her 100 and 200 meter runs in that championship. And I had been keeping an eye out on her for quite some time. Any of you have been following me in this vlog, you know that I am a huge track and field fan. True, huge track and field fan. I mean, just look at the execution of her coming around this bend. She could have been a little tighter on the curve, yes. But excellent execution. Look at how relaxed she is. Are you see this? She's looking around. Absolutely relaxed. Knees high. Shoulders back. Uh, just, just absolute, complete and utter dominance. And I think if you have a talent like this, who can execute this easily and this well in both 100 and 200 meters, she should not be allowed to fall through the cracks. And I can therefore understand why many of you kept asking me what, is hap what has happened to Ashanti Moore? You know, where is she? What's going on with her? So let's talk about what's happening to young Ashanti Moore. After running a personal best in the class one girls 100 meters in 2019, winning in a time of 11.17, her personal best, more was impacted by the pandemic, as were many, many other athletes. It sort of threw her career up, you know, in a place where no one was sure as to what was going on. We had been reliably informed that World Athletics shoe company Adidas had shown immense interest and they were in the final stages of negotiating a contract to sign young Ashanti Moore. Also, college was in the offering and she was contemplating going to college overseas. In fact, the college being most talked about had been Lake Sumter College, located in Central Florida. And she would be training with Lance Braun, who had worked with people like Tyson Gay and Jamaica's very own VCB, Veronica Campbell Brown. Oh, TVJ Sports, her coach, Corey Bennett, then informed us that we discussed was probably her going to college and um, it's just a matter of, you know, I know that they, they cut all the SATs now in terms of for this year. So I, I believe that it, it, it is heading towards college. Um, I, I know that I there are some shoe companies that have an interest in her as well, um, but we haven't spoken to anybody and I don't really want. However, these plans, because of the pandemic and because of the uncertainty, did not come to fruition. However, earlier this year in 2021, we did receive interesting and some might say good news for the young phenom Ashanti Moore. That is, she decided to go pro. Now, let me explain what that means, people. Going pro means um, that she is no longer an amateur athlete. It means that if she goes to the Diamond League, etc., she can now be paid formally because if you're an amateur, you cannot be paid. Okay? It's illegal. So she can now be paid. Um, she has also entered a, a very illustrious camp, um, training camp that is in the United States, one that trains the amazing Shauna Miller Weibo of the Bahamas. And no one needs to be told who that is. You know what? I shouldn't say that. Let me not assume that you know. 
Shada Miller Weber recently won the gold medal in the women's 400 meters finals at the Tokyo Olympic Games. She's considered one of the greatest 400 meter finalists and one of the best 200 meter runners in the world. So young Ashanti Moore is now training with her and in her camp. And that camp is the Pure Athletics Club located in Clement, which is in central Florida, with coach, the coach being Lance Brauman. And this is a, a well-respected, one of the best coaches around. Um, this gentleman coach is, of course, Shauna miller Weber. I said that earlier, and 200-meter specialist Noel Lyles of United States. So um, she's, in, she's in good good hands. Also, earlier this year, she ran a new personal best. She's been doing really well on the circuit so far. Um, now, remember the 21, 2021 season has already ended. Earlier this year at the Pure Athletic Sprint Elite Meet at the National Training Center in Claremont, Florida, she broke her PB running an extremely impressive 11.10. This was, of course, on May 2nd this year, 2021. So I, what's happening with her? She's turned pro. Um, she seems to be doing well. She is, I mean, she just started her pro uh, season this year, maybe three or four months ago. Um, so she's just working into it. As I said, she has a new coach, um, Coach Lance Brahman, who apparently is an extremely good coach. I did some research on him. He's, he, you know, he has, he has had a lot of successes. And, um, you know, she is she's getting into the groove she seems to be happy when one checks out her social media she seems confident she seems as if you know she's and we have to remember she's now in a new place she's in the united states you know she has to adjust um the race you're watching uh was at uh, the same meet uh where she was running against the amazing elaine thompson Hera, of course um she didn't win uh thompson Hera dominated running 10.78 that would be expected and Ashanti Moore ran um, 11.10, which is an extremely impressive time. Uh, her times are increasing. Uh, she's improving. She's getting faster. And like I said, like many, many other younger athletes, the, the pandemic really threw her off. You know, I shouldn't say other younger athletes. Athletes globally were all thrown off by this pandemic. Um, everything was sort of up in the air. We didn't know what was going on. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that she will eventually secure a shoe deal. Um, there was just a lot of uncertainty, and this has nothing to do with her and her phenomenal talent. Many, many other athletes globally were going through the same exact thing. So, to answer the question, where is Ashanti Moore? Ashanti Moore is in the United States, running with one of the best camps in the world and with one of the best coaches in the world. And she seems happy based on her Instagram. Go check her out. Um, her times are improving, her technique is improving, she's only getting better, and I see many great things to come. Remember what I said, she's a rarity. She's that rare athlete that runs 100 and 200 meter spectacularly. I know, I know some of you are going to say, Lord, she's going to fire and go train. But this gentleman trained Veronica Campbell-Bone, he trained VCV, the great, the, the legendary, and her career turned out to be wonderful. I think she's in good hands. Um, I think she's going to do extremely well. So right now, I'm cautiously optimistic about this amazing young talent. Uh, I'm going to continue to do these features on young, young talents that I think are going to be remarkable in the future. You know, people, you know, the, the man say, don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on Ashanti Moore. And as always, bless up.